Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy York Alex here, and today we're gonna be comparing the SAC 3 and the XMGs because they're both dual weld weapons in Advanced Warfare. Actually, the only two dual weld weapons. And uh, so we're gonna be comparing them to tell you guys which one's better to use and which one will fit you better. So, let's get started. So here we've got the stats. Now they're pretty similar in a lot of things. For damage, they're both have 25 damage up close, but the SAC 3s go down to 18 out of range while the XMGs go down to 20. Multiplier is pretty similar. XMG though has more to head and has 1.2 to neck and 1.1 to upper torso. So I mean if you hit those places, which you probably are because you're just spraying, uh, you're gonna kill them a lot faster than the SAC 3s. Uh, the magazines, XMGs obviously have a lot more, 150, 225 with extended mags. SAC 3s, 32 and 48 with extended mags. Um, XMGs have a lot more bullets. Fire rate, they're both the same. And the range, they're both pretty similar. I was expecting XMG to be more, but it, they're both there pretty close. Here we've got uh, recoil test. XMG is a lot more accurate. Uh, SAC 3 is a little bit less accurate. Um, but XMGs do have a lockdown mode as well where it's like a sniper, I mean you can snipe people pretty much with this um, from a long distance uh, they they boosted it I think and now it's super super accurate I mean it, it's just a beast, SAC 3's don't have this they're pretty much just submachine guns, they have recoil they don't have that much ammo and yeah that's that um, so here we've got a damage test um, both of these four shots at medium and close distance obviously they're the same damage so you know same thing and at a range it can go up to five or six but you're spraying bullets out of both barrels you're gonna kill them pretty quick because you know dual weapons you're shooting two bullets per shot pretty much because you have two guns so you're gonna be putting them down pretty quick um now we've got a mobility test obviously sac 3 submachine gun it's pretty pretty fast a lot fast uh I mean, very fast, it's faster than the XMG by a lot. XMG, a lot slower, but obviously it has higher, um, or less, no, higher accuracy, I mean. So, you know, it's meant for, like, camping in the back a little bit and shooting people from a little bit farther distance, while SAC-3, you have to be in their face to kill them, um, because, really, you're not gonna win any long-range gunfights, and only close range you're probably gonna win. Now, uh, reload speed 1.4 for a SAC 3, 5.5 for the XMG, but the XMG does have a lot more ammo, so you're not going to be reloading that much, while the SAC 3 has less ammo, so you're going to be reloading a lot. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Um, SAC 3s have higher mobility and more recoil, and they're meant for pretty much going up to people's faces and shooting them. With lightweight, you can just run up to people and shoot them right in the face. <clears throat> and you might win the gunfight. There's like a 75% chance probably now if they have an HBR and they like boost to the left or something You have to oh, you have to correct it and you might overcorrect since you know if you have a high sensitivity And you can't aim with these guns. You're gonna like be moving really fast Um, and if they have like an HBR or some like assault rifle, they can like three or four shot you That's the only bad thing, but since you're spraying two bullets out of each barrel You're probably gonna hit a lot of bullets in them and you're probably gonna kill them so, yeah, XMG is meant for camping and sort of staying back behind a little bit, you know, guarding a s objective and stuff like that. So, yeah, they're both pretty good. Um, depends on what type of player you are. Sac 3s go out and shoot people in the face. XMGs stay back a little bit. But, yeah, that's pretty much all. So, would I take these over regular weapons? And my answer is no. Because regular weapons, you do have a lower chance of winning a close range gunfight against these guns. But there is still a chance you're gonna win them and long-range gunfights You're pretty much gonna win every single one against these types of guns And I mean it's just I just find them easier to use because you can aim and stuff and you won't overcorrect since the high sensitivity and stuff And I just like them better. They're overall better guns in my opinion, but yeah, that's all They aren't bad guns, but I would just pick a regular assault rifle or regular submachine gun over them um, they're still pretty good, but yeah, 
So if you guys found it helpful or enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe for more Advanced Warfare, and peace out. Life.